What's up guys? This is the Braveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Napoleon Total War 3 campaign as Sweden. So to pick up where we left off, uh, the Dutch have captured Cleves from Prussia and we're going to take the opportunity that we have been given to secure some territory from our allies. So we're going to capture, we're going to invade, um, invade the territory, take the city, hopefully kill this French general, just because not that these are particularly, well I've I suspect my uh, some of the people watching this video know who this guy is. I do not really have much information on him. Um, but still, he's a French general, so orders are kill or capture. Same with these two um, Dutch generals, especially Mr. Leicester. Although, to be honest, both, they will both fall when the city is captured. Got an army, a unit coming in. It's a unit of grenadiers coming in to reinforce. Um, but we've got plenty of firepower. So let's attack the city and then bring the territory into the fold. What's particularly useful is they have a town that's developed. It's currently got a, I think it's a supply warehouse in there. Um, but what I want to do is destroy that and turn it into a factory to unlock the other, um, the third, like the industrial technologies. Because currently I don't have any factories. I can't, tr I can't convert it into, some forces in I have to destroy it um, for various reasons, which I'll go into when the time comes. Um, but for now... So they're going to be deploying in the town. It's not really great for my artillery to go, especially my the long 12s. So they're going to deploy back. My got this feature here, so I'm tempted to push a force up through this gap. Well, first of all, let's create a front line. So the Bjornborg infantry is actually pretty good. Um, standard. Uh, accuracy 20, reloading skill 60, ammunition 70. So compare that to an in Delta infantry. Now my Bjornborgs are, they're just better. So I think I want to put my um, in Delta mix with my um, militia plus a unit of lifeguards. They're going to advance through the woods. It looks like the terrain still is so it's here is where it stops being iffy. So we're going to advance through the woods. I'm going to put my Bjornborg detachment plus a Grenadier regiment. They're going to advance through this gap here. Probably going to have my sixes going up with them. I'm going to put my light infantry on the left to skirmish with maybe the bulk of my cavalry. So if we can get up this hill to here, we can get free reign on the left. Whereas on the right, well, I don't know, it's actually not, it's not that bad. Actually, let's, let's go back to put some heavies and lights on both flanks. There are enemy cavalry units, so we're going to be trying to lure them in. There we go. Our howitzers are probably going to be here to advance up to the cover here and then unlimber. My general is going to advance up the centre, so let's get cracking. In guard mode, units fight defensively. Ah. Try to maintain their formation. Okay, so we've got reinforcements coming in on the right. So just advance my line up. Give my sixes orders to advance. We can't see any enemies, so let's get my cavalry up on the higher ground. Let's get my howitzers pushing up here. My front line itself, advance through the woods in good order. My cavalry isn't immediately necessary on the right flank. We do have grenadiers coming in, but it looks like due to the way they're going to be coming into the field, we can surround and destroy them quite well. Enemies. Enemies charging. Interesting. Let's halt my general because he's about to catch up to the infantry. So we're going to want to lure in the infantry and destroy them. So it looks like there's infantry here because they're, they're getting stuck. Maintain the advance. Pull my cavalry back. Oh, my light infantry didn't get the order to advance. Let's 
There we go. So these units deploy into square. My line advance and hold. Oh my god. Get my long 12s. Engage the enemy. There's the French general in the corner. The enemy cavalry will likely fall. As they engage my squares. Twenty-sixth are currently engaging the cavalry. So this unit of in Delta can't form a square, so they're gonna have to hold for now. Get these units out of square. Sands General, because they they're broken. Let's begin to push up my right flank. Get my cavalry up there. Where's those? Okay, the Grenadiers are in. They're getting into position. So let's. I think we're going to be okay on the right flank. Let's advance these men up and out of the way. We might mob the. Oh my god. I've never fired canister shot with howitzers. Looks like with good reason. Looks like they're kind of stuck. Okay, we can see more cavalry advancing. Fortunately, it looks like their general is screwed up. Get my heavy cavalry up, because they'll attack the enemy when the time comes. The light horse is still advancing through the woods. Our general is under attack. Oh good, I think our howitzers must have done some good work. So let's get them back around on the flank, get our howitzers. Lobbing its canister shell, canister shot into the centre. Where's those cavalrymen? Expect them to go down fairly quick. But I want to bring up my right my left flank pretty hard. There we go. How to shells are away. Let's get our flank pushing up rapidly. the unit of Voltagers, so I want to get my horse guards in there to attack the enemy grenadiers. I want to get these infantry, this infantry unit singular. There's the other unit. The light horse are in trouble. My heavy cavalry to charge the grenadiers. Okay, get my howitzers backfiring canister shot at the general staff. It looks like that's where they're going to go. Go for, what they're going to go for. Actually, I might send a unit in to help my cavalry. Push that cavalry up. Deal with the voltageur later on. Push my cavalry forward, but now we have the musket battle. Grenadiers are doing okay. General staff's gone down. Death and destruction in the flank. K 
keep the lines advancing. There we go, the grenadiers are broken, so I can take my line infantry and form up. We have killed their general, sir. Now they Get my light play. dragoons in, ready to hit the hussars. My grenadiers are broken. Must have been from how it's a fire. Ceasefire. So the 24th regiment are a bit isolated. My light dragoons hit the vultures. They're doing damage to my dragoons, but they should fall fairly quick because vultures are skirmishers. And they are falling fast, but let's go back to the musket battle. It's trying to force the left flank here. To be honest, let's start charging some cavalry into the action. We've killed another enemy general, or two enemy generals. So my light dragoons are going to advance towards the enemy. My infantry... All of it... are going to advance into a line like so. My cavalry charge into the woods. You men cease fire. These infantry units, bayonet charge, that regiment. Because they're starting to push the flank, which we don't necessarily want them to get away with. Get my light infantry to chase down that unit of partisans. Get my heavy cavalry to trot over here in case this goes wrong. Get my light cavalry to march towards the general. Our men are running for Understandable. This was a bit of a gamble, but to be honest, I was a bit I was curious to see how it would go down. So get you men to charge down the the Dutch flankers, get my howitzers to cease fire. In general, I think it's been a, apart from that one unit collapsing, we've got a complete collapse of the enemy front. My general might even be able to rectify the 25th breaking in the manner that they have. Newman advance on into the 5th. My light cavalry over here that's winded. Just advance towards the general staff. There we go. 24th ready to open fire against the 3rd light foot. Glorious victory, sir. The West Indies Jäger are broken. The 5th Regiment are broken. Okay, you use your Inspire and Rally just to see if they come back. Nope. No, get my General out of there. No, he's... Oh my god. Oh, thank god. That was the French one. So my General routed after touching an enemy unit. So the last unit that's alive is the third light foot. So this Hussar regiment can charge into them. The men continue to harass the troops that are falling back. The third light foot have routed. All the enemy combatants or commanders have been killed. That's gone quite well. Good stuff. So I could probably have stood to have not been at charge towards the end, but why the hell not? So we're going to 
loot because we get a lot of cash and they're still really happy with us. And it will cost us much less than that to uh, rebuild the city. Did you get a negative trait for that? No, for running away. I was curious. Um, so what this really offers us is this. So right now it's a small arms factory, which gives us reducement, reduced upkeep costs and recruitment costs and lots of good stuff. Um, but what I really want to do is convert it. So this button down here, which allows me to change build it, building type, it allows me to convert it to buildings of equal level. So this that would be a steam-powered factory, but I don't have a steam engine, so I can't convert it directly into a steam engine factory, which is the top-tier industrial building. So I have to dismantle it so I can build it as a manufactory and then unlock this tree. And the final victory is going to be heading towards the Batavian Republic, but right now... Oh, go away. There we go. <laughs> that weird audio bug. And these men are replenishing. Um, I'm tempted to leave Mr. Henrik over to the east to respond to either to respond to Prussia getting up to no good. So I might get ready to move you chaps over here. Because Mr. Skolebrand, if you leave Oldenburg, they don't like it. But if we garrison our other units in there, they handle it. So you men can stand here, ready to cross over in towards Amsterdam. We're about to research standardised artillery, which is good because it reduces our upkeep for artillery. Um, up here in Sweden. Still recruiting. So we've got 12 slots. So we've got our... Let's get, so get our artillery. I'm kind of... I'm still not entirely sure about the 12s. They're not, I don't know how useful they are in the grand scheme of things. Um, so you've got a good amount of infantry. You don't have any militia yet, so I should start to recruit militia because they're not terrible. They they're good fixing units. They hold the line while you while you maneuver around. That seems to be their role. Fortifying cleaves could be useful in the grand scheme, just as we could fortify Hanover as a frontier territory. Yeah, our transport army is coming back to Malmo. Let's get our 24-gun uh, frigate out to Alborg because that looks like that looks like where I'm going to be basing some of my ships. Apart from that, though, it's going pretty well. The French have pushed on, secured Venice. They've now surrounded Switzerland, but they're allies, so they don't mind. But in general, things are going pretty well. Can't upgrade my infrastructure yet, so let's hit end turn. So now we have a proper front line with the French Empire. Ooh, I'm getting sorry for the audio. I can't really fix it at the minute. Let's get rid of the join the wars and let's just trade techs. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that quick, quick, um, quick trade worked so well. But yes, I'm I'm in favour of trading techs. I'm not in favour of joining wars. It looks like France has just taken Vienna. On the map, you can see it. So, good. If they keep driving east, that allows me to come in through the north. <laughs> that would be a nice plan. Looks like the Prussians are pushing troops into my territory, which isn't a massive problem. Um, uh, the, yeah, the, the Dutch have marched troops to block us. So we've researched... Uh, Standardized artillery, so it's gone back to Grand Battery, which I don't think is a terrible idea. General Staff might be more useful, because we've got limited armies trying to... Oh wait, no. You're going for slavery. Schleswig. Go for General Staff, because that bonus to movement range, when you've got limited troops, is quite important. And you can see, we actually get quite a good amount of coverage. My, my territories are just... Okay, you guys, so I'm, hmm, I'm probably going to want to maybe move these guys away from the front. Although I could just engage... No, I, no two armies will be enough to attack Amsterdam. Because I want one army to destroy them, or do the bulk of the damage, then another, another army to come in and deliver the knockout punch. So here at Munster we're going to build a manufactory, which will hopefully, hopefully allow us to uh, start to explore the industrial track. We've built a Court of Appeals in Oldenburg... So they should start to slowly see their, resist their resistance to foreign occupation 
creep down, a bit more oppression. Yeah, good stuff. Um, in terms of income, we're down to 2,400 per turn. Not terrible, because you've got a good amount of wealth stored up. But if you have a few bad turns, that can very easily um, vanish, really. But we're in a good we're in, we're in a good spot. We are in a good spot, I think. Yeah, Prussia are bringing troops in from the east, and they're also actually sending them south. Which you got to wonder if that means the French, if they drive east and take one more territory, they've got a front line with Prussia, which is good. Keep them away from us, and that will allow us to advance towards Amsterdam. Then it's only a hop from Amsterdam to Brussels, Brussels to Reims, Reims to Paris. Now, once we've taken Paris, well, <laughs> I doubt Napoleon will be too happy about that. Ah, so they've sent a... Okay, so I know I've had previous issues with with auto as well before, but I'm pretty confident. <laughs> so it's going to take a bit of replenishment, but that's not going to be a deal breaker. We need both of our armies in good shape, really. So, yeah, so just one more turn. And these guys aren't even finished yet here in Cleves, so let's upgrade to the Military Academy. Just a second, everyone. Oh, I can hear someone knocking. Sorry about that, guys. Um, okay, so I think... There isn't really anything to do. It's going to be a bit unf... Uh, that's going to be quite handy, actually, because Gothenburg will finish researching the abolition of slavery right when my manufactory is built, so then we can start to knock off some of these really easy low-level techs that actually are pretty useful in terms of expanding our empire. Um, Stockholm, their army is still growing. Four units are being recruited, so they have space for one more unit, and that will probably be a unit of militia. So in three turns, that will be four armies in the field, and that will be pretty nice. Especially some of these units are coming are becoming quite experienced now, actually. Especially this force and and a Skoldebrand. Uh, level three Bjornborg, accuracy level twenty one. Svenska Guard is still at experience level 1. I mean, some of my artillery is becoming quite experienced. Yeah, my heavy cavalry, pretty sure these, this is the 4th Horse Guards, was, was the unit that cut down the Dutch Grenadiers. Uh, but yes, we want this army to be in a good position. Eh, I don't want to recruit a general, but I could probably do with recruiting more... Not garrison troops, but just a handful of units just to sit in territories like Hanover when I move my army east. West, sorry. In terms of diplomacy, I'm going to open trade with Hessen. Good, because it's a land trade route, which means they won't be able to... Um, they won't be able to be blockaded by uh, any naval shenanigans. Now, I want to keep Hessen on side for now because Hessen are allied with Prussia and Austria so it behooves me to maintain their good graces. Um, but let's hit enter. Ooh. 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 Uh, ooh. Counter offer. Don't join war with Spain. I mean, I know all this takes very one-sided, but the general staff gives me bonus to campaign movement, and I might need it immediately. <laughs> I might have to move my army that's at Hanover southwest rapidly to bolster my army to have to fight off that French force. And all the better when that army in Stockholm is completed. That way I can um, send them to the front. I'm curious to see who it is and what their force makeup is. It looks like they're content just to send little uh, small minor units at me for destruction. It's not a massive problem because I've got that force in Hanover that can reinforce. I've got the um, abolition of slavery research. So, Gothenburg, you go on to. Um, Division of Labour. Schleswig was originally doing general staff, but they have since... We've since got it, so we don't need to do that anymore. Percussion cap would be great to reduce misfire chance. 
I mean, because I'm using militia... Well, no, I've got to go for these. These are real cheap. So let's go for... Let's go for bottling and canning, just because I've got a reasonable navy on my hands now. So I'd probably like to try and drive down their costs. Treasury Minister's currently zero, because he's now morally impaired, so let's... We get some... Actually, what other thing has he got? Morally impaired, so... He's plus one happiness and nobility. We don't really care about that, because we're an absolute monarchy. So that's an opportunity to filter out all of my rubbish ministers. Oh my god. Something of a banker. And a private secretary. From putting him in... Giving him a ministerial role. Okay, lesson learned. Do not flick through these too quickly. Plus one management to treasury. Plus one management. Good stuff. Really good stuff. Um, okay. So, you can get within range to cover. This force is still... Actually, even with the auto resolve. Infantry de Ligne, Infantry de Ligne, Grenadier, Curacier, Infantry de Ligne, Conscripts, Line, Laurent de Gouvion Saint-Cyr. Probably butchered that. Well, no, I would have butchered that. Um, okay. Can you men... I mean, I know I don't need troops on the frontier, but it makes me feel better having troops on the frontier. Bring you these men up to support. These men garrison the city of Hanover, because they're already unhappy. But now they're okay. The army inside the territory is almost fully replenished. My manufactory can be upgraded. It gives us extra region wealth. Plate ways, interchangeable parts, steam engine, joint stock company, so not. I'm pretty sure Macadam Roads is here. Is meant to be here, so it looks like I might not be able to get that at all, which is kind of lame. Although maybe, because you've got such massive movement anyway, it was removed from the game to prevent ludicrous coverage, perhaps? I don't know, I'm just spitballing here. Uh, sick horse artillery, grenadiers, okay. So if I bring you men up as close as you can, Mr. Backstrom, attack the French and they've got sappers, lots of cavalry, 12 pounders, a really good general. Okay, we need to deploy in a defensive AF position. And the auto resolve does not like our opportunity. Or, um, doesn't like our chances, but I think we'll be okay. I don't want to find- no, I don't want to bring a human in. No siree. So let's attack the French outside of Cleves. This could be pretty important. <laughs> Um, but it's quite nice to get this opportunity to attack a French force. So it looks like we're going to be here, defending. Reinforcements aren't as much of a... They're not so useful as the Iron Empire because of the sheer mo um, the, the time it takes for your troops to get into position. Oh no, actually there are... Wait. Why are we outside the town? Hmm. But still. Sick, okay, where's the... Okay, so this is the high ground. My 12 pounders deploy on the high ground. Let's create... Create a solid line. I don't want to do anything clever at this point. Well, actually, first of all, I want to put my sixes in the centre of that line. So I'm going to need my artillery, and thank god I've got howitzers. But they might not be able to save me. I'm going to get a serious amount of advantage if I can destroy their cavalry. But what I want, well, they've got a lot of artillery, a lot of cavalry. If I can destroy their artillery and cavalry as much as possible, then I will be able to do some useful stuff when it comes to enveloping their infantry. Let's put my cavalry in the woods here. This cavalry is a bit less available to be hidden. Howitzers deploy fairly close to the front line. And then my militia could deploy trenches, so I may as well turn them on to gain a little bit of extra firepower. Hmm. 
and it looks like the enemy's deployed. Well, is de has de is deploying right at the back. So let's speed up time. We should be able to get some visibility as they cross the dead ground in between the trees. Well, I don't like this lack of knowing, so I might get my light cavalry out of the... Because they could use this to screen their advance. So again, we're going to speed up time. Advance my cavalry a bit just to see if we can get some visibility on their dispositions. They could well just be sat at the back. I, d I don't know why you guys aren't um, I don't know why you guys aren't shooting their general. This one. My six is open fire. They're missing and falling short on all sorts of good stuff. Yeah. So a few men. Okay, so from the. Oh! Oh my god. Frame rate much? To be honest, I'm probably going to have to push up and attack them. That's not a terrible outcome, but I just wish my artillery was doing more stuff. So let's limber you guys up. Speed up time a little bit. While that happens. Okay, you're done. Okay, I'm going to have to advance, because I can't just sit here and do nothing. I mean, that is fair. I I did attack them. <laughs> so don't get me wrong, I'm not... It's not a bad thing. Enemy cavalry is mobile, so hopefully we can destroy them. Howitzers limber up to join their way to the front. Push my 12s up a bit further. Speed up time as our troops advance. Okay, enemy cavalry. Walking. How about now? You should definitely be in range by now, because you've got... Uh, range could have been an issue. Light horse... Light... Okay, there's the light howitzers. The light horse. Don't let my cavalry range too far away from my line. A lot of cavalry here. That's three units, I think, mixed in there. Playing this very cagey. I mean, granted, I've got another whole army I can bring in, bring to bear, but I'm not going to have time. The hope is I can get these men to charge me.
foot artillery has to cease fire because it's now just causing issues. My 12 pounders all the way back here are firing off some shots. I might limber them up. So we know their infantry is limbered, is around here somewhere. Screen my cavalry around the hills there. Okay, you guys need to get just outside of these trees and then open fire because their cavalry is going to be on us. See, there's the 20th horse guards. If I can fold you guys back into attacking a square unit, that would be excellent. Curassier against Assads and unlimber my unlimber my um, howitzers. Cavalry charge. I heard it. Their artillery is going to be really close to their guns. There we go. So now I charge my my cav heavy cavalry into their light cavalry. Did see infantry in these woods. My hussars opening. My howitzers are opening up. So make sure they attack the third foot guards. You men get into position. There are men in the woods. My cavalry probing their flank. I'm going to have to... Whoa. Get my cavalry back because they've exposed themselves. Horse guards are back in the back in action on the flank. Let the big brothers get shot by my muskets. Cavalry is very powerful in this. My howitzers ought to really be focusing on something else. They've deployed stakes. They're having to advance into us now. Very tempting to try and go after their general right out there on the flank. Okay, now it's too tempting. My light cavalry go for the general staff. It's probably not the general. There we go. Provoked the cavalry charge I wanted to see.
So the 15th Horse Guards are going down. The General is routed. He may or may not come back. There you go, that's the one unit of their cavalry gone. The infantry are massing on the flank. Get my lifeguard involved. Push up my cavalry on the flank. Get my cavalry back. My general that's currently sat just at the back doing not very much. Commit my cavalry to attack the 23rd Light Horse. Start to bring up my line. The cavalry's killed one general. The Light Dragoons and my horse guards are doing well against the French. Make sure everyone's running in. The Grenadiers are upset. Bring my light cavalry into the rear. Good stuff. Advance my cavalry up on the right flank. You men... Oh, thank God they ran... They... So one thing I have noticed, once you've got infantry that's been charged, they can't form square anymore. So my heavy cavalry attack the Grenadiers. If we can knock them out, that will be excellent. Pivot my infantry to advance around on the flank. So we've got an infantry, a line infantry on the flank. Take this unit. Pivot. You, you pivot. Cavalry, keep pushing around the flank. Okay, that Grenadier unit's not coming back. They're down to 70, 66 men. Pull my Hussars back into the village. Got a line infantry unit on the flank. Get all my cavalry into charge against the 15th Horse Guards. There's only 63 of them. They're at half strength and they're very tired. So we should be in a good opportunity there. Infantry, line infantry unit's broken. So that infantry on the flank should do quite well there. My cuirassier are running away rather than fighting. Which isn't great because my light cavalry is the one that's taking the brunt of the attack. You pivot to engage the voltageur. Another infantry unit routing. Who are they? It's the light horse. I'm sure they are. But that's why you need to fight... Well, my light infantry need to fight the Hussards. Voltageur have touched our lines. Let's get a musket battle going. A melee fight. You men charge into their flank. Bring my general up onto the right. Maintain the push. My light cavalry may fail on the flank. My hussar. Ooh, heavy cavalry, eh? Get my heavies over here. Good. The enemy cavalry is both routing. This infantry, my cavalry needs to get some of their structure back. These guys may get charged on the flank. Our men are running, sir. That's my, my light dragoons. Understandable. You men get into position on the flank here. Get my heavy cavalry around over here. 
who is surrounding everyone else. The gunners are finally falling. You men pivot to fire against the 5th Grenadier Regiment. These units to form defensive squares. Horse guards have hit our squares and they have not routed, but they're unhappy. Charge my cavalry into the 6th horse guards. The men are fatigued, sir. I'm sure them. they are. But their comrades risk being dead. Cavalry's been knocked out. You attack the Voltager, you attack the infantry unit here. Oh, line infantry regiment, melee attack, fall back. That could go badly for them actually, but... Hey, my Dragoon came back. My Dragoons came back, everyone else is incredibly knackered. The Grenadiers are almost done for dead. You men bayonet charge, my general, inspire your men. Yeah, fair one. Get my heavy cavalry back, get my in delta, charge the infantry of the line. They could well break, it's a bit of a toss of a coin at the minute. The 27th Regiment are wavering. There we go. The unit that was pushing the flank with melee is routed. These troops form up into a firing position. That bayonet charge has been repelled. gun team is trying to route. We don't want that. The general's not really helping the 4th Regiment of Militia. The Grenadiers look like they're, they're about to charge. You men try and charge the 3rd Foot Guards. They're exhausted, so we're relying on their lack of energy. But you're very tired, so you could well break. But their morale has dropped rapidly. Oh, they're now steady. Oh, my guys are... They're, they're bouncing around. There we go. We got the foot guards to route. The 15th Infantry... Line Infantry Regiment's gone. You men go after the 20th Regiment oh, of Artillery. Oh, that was the Dragoons we sent after the Foot Guards. Fair enough. They've done good. And the 41st, 1st Regiment of Line is all that remains. So everyone else advance into the enemy. You might attack the conscripts because there's not many of them left. This cavalry go after the gunners. Glorious victory, sir. It's soon to be yours. I mean, I'm going to have to. I'm probably going to want to chase these guys down. That howitzer fire is not great. Yeah, we're going to continue. Because it is the Le French. It behooves us to continue. So I'm going to speed up time. Turn. Fire at will. Off. I 
it could well cause issues when it comes to um, morale and so on, but I think this is definitely worth doing. Being a French army, and we want to push into France, we want to try and kill as many, ooh, especially foot guards. Especially the sapper. And you go after the 17th. Everyone's going to have orders to trot after them. They're not going to run because I don't want any to break. The men are fatigued, sir. I'm sure they're fatigued. One. That's why I'm making them walk after them. They aren't running. They don't have to run. They're going to push and destroy this French army and let them know what it means to go to war against the Swedes. Those grenadiers in the distance are probably going to get away. All of these men after the 17th Regiment of Infantry? Regiment of 17th Regiment of Foot, yeah. Let's have a look at the, the battlefield. So you can see where the battle lines have been drawn, where my Swedes have died in the face of French cavalry attack. But as we advance and surround and destroy, well, some of those are my, my guys. I reckon... Yep, so now it's everyone against the 17th. When they shatter, they disappear. But the flag's gone. Well, I think that's what it means when they shatter. But then again, you'd think these guys would shatter. Considering there's only eight of them left. But If I make them run after them, does that change the calculus at all? The general's in the mix. Now he's picking them off. Five... This is the w terrible pathfinding. Okay. Ah. Infantry, line infantry unit all the way over here. Very well. Form my infantry up in a ceremonial line position. And then let's see if we can trot after these... <laughs> trot after these um, line infantry. Because they've done well. My cavalry's done well. They're all quite... Well, they're all exhausted. Except for my general, actually. He may attempt to try and jump the gun. Well, he's probably now winded. Let's see if my general runs away. Yeah, he's now tired. Not too tired to swing a sword, though. I mean, granted, he's not doing a tremendous job of it, but that's why I've got all this extra cavalry coming in. To make sure we get the job done properly. Although they are all exhausted, because they all really need to just not move. The general's now very tired. I do wonder how useful this is going to be in future uh, battles. Because <laughs> it looks like all well, my guys are knackered. Even though they're fighting a broken enemy, pathfinding seems a bit to be a bit chaotic. So, maybe not one for future episodes. Maybe. Oh, there we go. Okay, I think the problem is they've got... There's one, there's a couple of units all the way over here. There we go. Didn't even need that backup army. I should have more confidence in myself by now. But that was a good battle. Back you men go. And the army itself, not actually that badly depleted. Hmm. You are in a great position to advance on towards Amsterdam. As long as nothing bad happens and I get screwed over. Fingers crossed. It's got two turns until a couple of attacks are done. Take, you'll take Mr. Baxterholm a couple of turns to get fully up to strength again. And as Skolabrand, you might actually push up and see what bait you can draw in from the um, Dutch forces. Let's see if we can lure the garrison of, of um, Amsterdam out to try and engage us. Ooh, the French were tickling up the border area. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm giving them all my tech, but... <laughs> I'm not. I don't know. I don't. I don't think there's there are technologies in this in Napoleon that are as game breaking. Well, not game breaking, but as overpowered as fire by rank. 
quick line, certain uh, physiological Physi- oh, I can't remember the terminology. The pink tech, the pink technologies, the civic, civil technologies, in empire. I don't think there are as many um, critical ones as there are in um, in Empire Total War. So if you advance towards the city, full armies worth. So if you can attack and put. Amsterdam and Siege. What have we got? Jean de Monceau. Lots of cavalry. Some artillery. Grenadiers. Lots of proper infantry. Could probably do that. But what I would like to do is take Mr. Backstrom forward. Hit Mr. Veerbeek. Just mop up his force. Open the way for Mr. Von Essen to back up. And as Skoldebrand. That way, this guy can stay here and continue to uh, continue to grow. I'm, I might actually want someone here to garrison Cleves because we control it controls um, armies coming from Strasbourg, Stuttgart, and from the west. So we might focus on pushing onto Brussels and Reims. Maybe drive south from here later on. But I think what I'm going to do is, Mister Scaldebrand is going to uh, attack the garrison here at Amsterdam. But looking at the timer. I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time for the assault on Amsterdam. Cheers, everyone.